Hi guys, it's me Zaina and today we'll again make a fun toy together. And what's that fun toy? Well, we'll make a toy with this ball. Well, you think that ball is a, also a toy. Why would we make something with a ball? But your answer will be simple that we need to combine two things like this ball and something else to make an even bigger and better toy. So are we excited? Yes. And are we ready? Yes. So for that what you need is, you need a cut bottle. You need this upper part of the bottle. You need a ball. You need a cutter or a scissor. We need two rubber bands and around 10 to 15 centimeter of thread or maybe bigger than that. And we need some tape as well. That's it. I hope you guys are ready with the material. So let's start. So what I need you to do first is we have to make four cuts in this bottle and those cuts should be perpendicular to each other. So I'll just show you. One, two, three and four. So I've marked these lines. I'll just mark these lines once again to make you understand that we have to, how we have to make the lines. So as you can see, these four lines are perpendicular to each other. So we have to make that kind of lines with the cutter. So once you are ready with these cuts, what you have to do is you have to take your rubber bands and you have to insert one rubber band in one line like this. So we have to place one rubber band in a vertical way and then the other rubber band in a horizontal line. So they should cut each other at right angle or they should make a cross from between. And the side view is like this. The upper view is like this. The side view is like this. So now what I'll do is I'll just tape it from the sides to ensure that they are completely sealed. So I'm using tape over here. Now I'll tape it. From all sides to ensure that it's completely fixed. I have taped it from all the sides. You also have to do the same thing. That's it. Now what we have to do guys is we have to tie a rubber band from we have to tie the rubber band in the cross that is formed by the two rubber, uh, rubber bands like this. So we have to tie it. I'll tie it and I'll show it to you. Like this I have tied. Now the rest of the thread I'll insert it inside my bottle and take it out from the cap. Let me take it out from the cap. And once I pull this thread you will see a stretching in the rubber band. So I put the tape so that while stretching the rubber band the rubber band doesn't come out. So I'll just stretch it like this to see how it works. Now the most interesting part is we'll use this ball, we'll put this ball on top of the cross, we'll pull the 
thread and we'll slowly release it. We'll do it one more time. We'll pull this thread and we'll release it. It went away. Okay, let me see if I have one more thing. Okay, I'll use a glass now. Let's see if the glass rolls over. So, one, two and three. Let me do it once again. One, two and three. It went away. So, guys, this teaches us the third law of motion that says... Every action has equal and opposite reaction. So when I pulled this thread, it was action. And when I released it, it was reaction. I hope you guys had fun today.